Right. Uh, real projective structure is uh, a generalization of uh, hyperbolic structures. So if you consider re real projective structures on the surface, actually the moduli space is a holomorphic vector bundle over type cumulus space. And I want to understand this moduli space of uh, strictly convex real projective structures. So there are different approaches like using geometry and dynamics and some uh, algebraic geometries and so on. And especially uh, with Patrick Flom here, I want to understand this moduli space and real projective structures in terms of dynamics. So we can put uh, different probability measure on this uh, uh, unit tangent space or pro projectivized tangent bundle and consider geodesic flow with respect to the Hilbert metric. Then uh, uh, we want to know when the uh, area of this uh, surface goes to infinity in terms of the Hausdorff measure of the Hilbert metric does the uh, entropy actually goes to zero. That's uh, our specific goal. And so we want to use either bowen magulus measure or um, uh, sinai ruel bowen bowen measure to calculate the entropy. And we want to know whether really this entropy goes to zero when the, uh, the area goes to infinity. That is our specific goal. If I work by myself, it's hard to get new ideas and uh, new techniques. Uh, that's why I visit and come together to work. Because if I work together, I learn uh, new methods and new techniques that I didn't know before. And different mathematicians have a different uh, way to, to approach the problem and different way of thinking. And that's how I learn uh, how to approach this, this problem in a different viewpoint and with a different techniques and method. And I think it is an important thing to get together and to discuss math face to face to exchange ideas and learn from each other new things that I didn't know, uh, know before. Uh, if I remember correctly, uh, I think I visited Serum twice already. The first time was when I was a graduate student. The second time was after I became a professor. So I remember uh, very vivid discussions about mathematics with uh, well-known mathematicians and learn from them and get new ideas and go back to uh, my work to work it out. And so I have a very fond memory about the serum. And uh, also about serum, I like, what I like the best is that uh, there are large number of people gathered together here and discuss math intensively and also there is a free meal <laughs> from morning to the dinner and uh, there is always a free lodging so this is extremely important because if I stay in Paris usually I have to commute by train and so on it's hard to find the lodgings and uh, furthermore it has a, a beautiful nature <laughs> so, when I get tired from work, I can go to the mountain or to the beach to swim. So that's very specific about the syrup. So usually I wake around 7 and I come here for a breakfast. Then I meet some new people over, over breakfast. We chat and introduce each other. And then I start to work from 9 o'clock in my office and I discuss math and our research project with Patrick. 
until lunch usually. Then we have lunch together and discuss various different things about mathematics, about uh, about our lives, <laughs> anything. And then after lunch, I come back to my office. I work until around usually 3 o'clock or 3.30. Then the office becomes really hot. <laughs> then it's hard to think anymore. Then I go, go to my apartment and I bring my kids to mountain or to the, to the beach and then come back for dinner and after dinner either I read books or discuss the mathematics with the mathematicians or sometimes we go to Marseille also to see some <laughs> Marseille so that's the typical day of yeah that's it oh, yeah, I travel uh, yeah, actually a lot. I, I taught in the university actually, but like five years ago I, I, I quit uh, university to be free actually. <laughs> because in university I have uh, teachings and some like administrative things. And so I, I went to Kias, that's like uh, CNRS in France, there's no teaching duties. So I can travel uh, whenever I want to, and so I have uh, a lot of friends in Europe, and sometimes I go to the States also to carry out my ideas with uh, uh, different professors. And if it is in uh, summer or winter, I bring my family uh, because my kids are still young; they are just ten and five, so. I mean, they can skip some schools, <laughs> so I guess it's it's okay. So far, it worked out well because um, usually in in this institute they provide us with some housings. If not, it's difficult. But like IHS and here they have uh, nice these houses and also some different countries in Europe they they rent some apartments. So. So far, I think uh, my children and my wife are quite happy with the traveling. But um, when the children goes, grows older, maybe it becomes uh, difficult because they have to go to school more regularly. I'll think about it afterwards. <laughs> but so far, I got uh, many friends around the world, so I can learn mathematics or so, different life in different countries. And, so I like to talk to, with uh, different people in, in different backgrounds, so, so far I'm quite happy. <laughs>